crypto price warning. China, Biden, and the Fed could be about to dis- could be about to destroy all value of Bitcoin. Okay. So let's see if this is just a propaganda, if there's any credibility to this story with CBDC. Bitcoin price has doubled since November, reaching around $30,000 per Bitcoin. Despite criticism and negative declarations, Texas Senator Ted Cruz has warned that central bank digital currencies inspired by Bitcoin and digital currencies could destroy all value of Bitcoin and undermine its anonymity and decentralization China is currently leading the way with the di- digital yuan, which some see as giving governments unprecedented power to surveil and control citizens. Cruz introduced legislation to prevent the creation of a digital dollar, saying the U.S. government has no authority to unilaterally establish a central bank currency. He added that those who want a CBDC dislike cash because it is not subjected to centralized control and constant surveillance, which is a key feature of digital currencies. Despite his concerns about CBDC, Cruz remains incredibly bullish on Bitcoin, calling it clearly the alpha in the current crypto sphere. Uh, are you just as concerned about this as Senator Cruz is? Um, I, you know, every time a politician wants to ban guns, there's an explosion in demand to buy guns. Right. And so uh, so talk about CBDCs really is a marketing event that causes everyone to think about a world where they don't own their own money. And that makes them think, well, what kind of money could I acquire that I would own? And the most censorship resistant monetary network in the world is Bitcoin. So interest in CBDCs is just going to drive more feverish interest in Bitcoin. It's uh, it's actually uh, driving awareness and Bitcoin is growing as people become more aware that they need something which is non-sovereign, store of value, nation state resistant. So uh, and if there's hyperinflation, people want Bitcoin. That's why they are thinking about Bitcoin in Argentina or uh, in Nigeria or anywhere in Africa right now. If there's moderate inflation, people that are sensitive to it will go for Bitcoin, and then the people that think the inflation will go away will look at it as an oddity. Um, But, you know, money is uh, uh, a store of value, uh, a unit of account, a medium of exchange, and then there's a fourth characteristic that we don't talk about. It's It's the thing that's not said. It's a system of control. So certain monies are easier to control than others. For example, you know, we, we talk about gold as money, but you ever try to carry um, a gold bar through an airport? Very heavy. Uh, you know, try it next time. Um, you know, they won't let you through, right? In fact, if you tried to carry $100,000 of gold through an airport, not only would you not get through, but the assumption would be you're a criminal, you stole the gold, and they would just take it and keep it without a court order. Now, try to carry $100,000 of cash through the airport. <laughs> you ever try that? Put it in a bag and just... Uh, you can put it in a bag, and as you're walking through the TSA check or the... Uh, the x-ray machine, just nonchalantly say to the officer, yeah, I'm carrying $100,000 of money onto the airplane, right? You won't get through. Now, not only will you not get through, they'll just take your money, right? They'll just take it, and the assumption will be you stole it, okay? So cash is a unit of control. Now, put $100,000 in a bank and try to wire it uh, to someone or just take it out, and they're going to ask you why, Tell them it's none of their business. <laughs> uh, try to send it to someone uh, privately. Uh, tell them you just want to send it to a, a numbered Swiss bank account, right? See how that works. That won't work, right? Uh, that's a system of control. Um, a couple of sta- stable coins have been getting shut down. Paxos's BUSD got a Wells notice. They got shut down. And Custodia tried to launch a bank. Uh, and they wanted to issue AVITs. AVITs were digital dollars. And they were digital dollars that were going to circulate on crypto networks. And, uh, and the regulators denied that banking license. And it's about a 70-page denial letter, very articulate. And I read it all. I read thousands. I, I read all of the crypto uh, legislation and all of the crypto 
uh, litigation. So if you dig into that denial letter, which is very well written uh, and articulate, what is very clear is that is is the regulators say we're not going to allow the bank to form because we don't want to issue someone we don't want someone to issue digital dollars that will circulate on crypto networks non KYC, what, you know evading our money law our anti money laundering rules our anti terrorism rules our our know your customer rules, so. Uh, it's clear that the regulators uh, reject with prejudice the idea that you can circulate large sums of dollars without reporting that. Now, that's a political football, right? Because a lot of people in this country think that you should own your own money and you should have financial privacy and you ought to be able to do what you want with your money. There's another group of people that don't agree, right? Uh, Ted Cruz is on the side of freedom. You ought to own your own money. Now, it turns out that um, if your money's in a bank, you're not going to be able to circulate it freely. It's controlled. Um, and uh, on the other hand, Bitcoin is the one network you can't control. Uh, you know, Ted Cruz's famous line is, I like Bitcoin for the same reason the Chinese don't like it. They can't control it. Mm. Nobody can control Bitcoin. Mm. So if you're, if you're insecure about being able to own your own money, do you own it? And can you actually use it? without asking somebody's permission, then uh, the solution is not gold, is not silver coins, is not stacks of cash, it's not money in a bank in the U.S., it's certainly not money in a bank in Lebanon, Argentina, anywhere in Africa. Those banks won't let you, they won't let you take your money out of the bank. <laughs> Go look at Nigeria, $42 a day, that's how much you can take out of the bank. They're keeping your money. So the one network uh, that you have that gives you a decent chance of owning your own money and then being able to spend it the way you want is Bitcoin. So I'm not worried about Bitcoin. I do think that um, there'll be a massive political fight over CBDCs. There's a technical challenge. Our government doesn't know how to issue a CBDC. We don't know how to issue digital currency. The people that are issuing digital dollars are the cryptocurrency mm. people, right? You know, Paxos knows how to issue a digital dollar, right? And the regulators sent them a Wells notice saying, shut it down. So the private market knows how to issue digital dollars. Uh, the government doesn't. The EU doesn't. The feds don't. And so even if they wanted to, they can't technically right now without somebody else's help. But as long as Congress is split, right, uh, it seems to me quite clear there's a large faction, uh, by the way, on the Democratic and the Republican side. I mean, Robert F. Kennedy, I don't think, is in favor of a CBDC, yep. nor is Ron DeSantis in favor of a CBDC. So there are a lot of free-thinking politicians in both parties that are adamantly against having a system of control where the government can decide how you, you know, it used to be $10,000 was the cutoff of the report, right? It used to be you had to report when you wired $10,000, and that was back when $10,000 was worth something, right? It used to be, I think it, it dates back, what, 30, 50 years or something? So it used to be $10,000 was a lot of money, and then they kept the, the $10,000 limit, and uh, inflation creeped up, and pretty soon $10,000 is, is not nearly so much money. And what we're seeing is uh, an encroachment of that, where now people are starting to lobby for the government to get a report on everything spent more than $600, and they lower the but, number. But who is supportive of that? I mean, right now, if you look at Federal Reserve, here's a tweet from Ron DeSantis you were talking about. April 7, the Federal Reserve has made no decision on issuing a central bank digital currency and would not do so without clear support from Congress and executive branch, uh, uh, ideally in a form of a specific authorizing law. law a CBDC would not replace cash or other payment options. And then DeSantis at the top says, it is not merely ideal that major changes in policy receive specific authorization from Congress. It is constitutionally required. Unaccountable institutions cannot impose a CBDC on Americans. They will tell CBDC won't be abused, but we are wise enough to know better this wolf comes as a wolf. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Mike, Michael, the question I'm asking is, this whole thing with 600, forget about the politicians that want it. We understand why they would want it. You can control and see what people are doing. What what average voter wants to vote for this? Who who the average American that would say I'm okay with this? 
I'm, I'm sure the overwhelming majority of the population is adamantly against it, and I would say a decent majority of politicians are against it, but there is a fringe wing that uh, wants to impose control over everybody, and they don't trust anybody. And, and you know, heck, at some point they would probably like to see how you spend 50 bucks. And, uh, and that's, that's the control freaks in, uh, in the political sphere. Uh, you know, politicians have shown themselves quite capable of interfering in your private affairs, and, and the, the last three years have shown anything. They've shown that people can come up with some justification to tell you how many people can sit at your dinner table on Thanksgiving, right? And, and so there will be some of them. I, I don't think that politically it's going to fly in the near term. In, in the next two to four years, I don't see consensus at the political level to impose a CBDC. But I think – so I think it's, it's like that persistent boogeyman where people say, oh, it's coming. And the result is, is uh, more interest in the antidote to it. So I, I, I don't think it's bad for Bitcoin. I think it's good for Bitcoin. I do think we ought to be concerned about money being used as a system of control is very disturbing. Yeah, I think you, you bring up an interesting point there. And, Rob, I just flipped you something. Can you grab that? Um, speaking of systems of control, I want you to look at this picture of uh, the two diplomats from India and Russia. And I think you know what I'm talking about. Um, it went down in the last 24 hours. I just sent you the, uh, the link to it, Rob. <laughs> Take a look at that. The Russian guys on the left, the Indian guys here. Russia has got billions of dollars trapped in India that is in rupees. And India is saying, you can't move them. But if you want to use them to pay for labor to build things, we're happy to do things. What do you need built? And mm. so this is a system of control here. This is two governments together. And India, look at the posture of the guy from India and look at the posture of the guy from Russia. Um, so when we talk about systems of control, this goes all the way up to the way governments control each other. This is India sitting on billions of dollars and won't let Russia take back. India bullying Russia. When would you have thought that would happen? <laughs> that just doesn't make any sense. But He's, good for them. Good for the uh, Indians. Uh, I have a question for Michael. Just on the heels of basically what Pat read about the DeSantis. Um, you know, there's a story here. I think it's SB7054. It's a question basically regarding Florida. We're here in Miami. We, we, you know, we dealt with the traffic. DeSantis, the, the CFO of Florida is Jimmy Patronis. He had some very harsh words uh, on CBDCs. He called it government surveillance. He said it could lead to financial slavery and political tyranny. So I, you said that if they were going to have some um, agenda to push through CBDCs, they would have to essentially have some sort of public-private partnership, right? The government's not going to do it on, on their own. Who would lead that charge? And what would they? how would they sell that to the people? Is it Gary Gensler of the SEC in partnership with certain Congress people? Like, walk me through how it would even happen and get approved via Congress. Well, I don't. I mean, to be clear, I don't expect it to happen. I, I, I don't think uh, that uh, there is consensus in the Democratic Party or the Republican Party to implement a CBDC. I don't think they know how to do it. I think there's resistance to it. Um, I, I think that what's going on right now is there's a regulatory crackdown on crypto. And so what, what, what is happening is the administration is, is cracking down on crypto exchanges. It's cracking down on crypto securities. It's cracking down on some of the crypto tokens and is cracking down on cryptocurrencies. And by currency, I mean a stable coin, like a dollar circulating. And I think that that's uh, creating quite a, a lot of sound and fury and friction and anxiety in the industry. I think, uh, I, I think it'll continue. There is no coherent digital asset framework that's been offered by any regulator. There isn't any coherent digital assets framework offered by any legislator. We're nowhere near that. Like, there's not a bill we're debating that if it gets voted on, will solve the problem. There is no bill. Got it. <laughs> okay. And so, the, you know, the talk about CBDCs uh, gets people, you know, quite spun up, rightfully so. But I think the story here is. CBDCs are going to be a non-starter in the free world. And even in uh, the place that's closest to it is China, I mm -hmm. suppose. And, uh, and so I, I really think that 
it's uh, it's a it's a Chinese concept, and I don't really think in the free world we want to be like the Chinese. And and I think ultimately, uh, both sides of the aisle will agree on that. So if you like this clip and you want to watch another one, click right here. And if you want to watch the entire podcast, click right here.